We've all heard of ECGs, but what do they actually do? Electrocardiograms measure the rate and regularity of heartbeats by using vectors. A typical 3-lead ECG uses three connections to read the cardiac impulses. A negative electrode from the right arm to the left arm, known as lead 1. A negative electrode from the right arm to the left leg, known as lead 2. A negative electrode from the left arm to the left leg, known as lead 3. This three-lead connection is known as Einthoven's triangle. The resulting ECG wave is the projection of the cardiac vector on the lead vector. From the cardiac vector, we can read each of the lead vector projections and calculate the resulting ECG wave. To calculate the lead projections, we rearrange the lead vectors with the heart located at the centre. In this example, we have a cardiac vector of 0.22 millivolts occurring at an angle of 47 degrees, and we need to calculate the resulting ECG recordings at leads 1, 2, and 3. To calculate each of the leads, we use the equation lead equals cardiac vector cos alpha minus theta, where alpha is the angle of the lead vector and theta is the angle of the cardiac vector. To begin with, we can substitute in the cardiac vector of 0.22 millivolts and the cardiac angle of 47 degrees. Then, for each lead, we can substitute in the lead vector angle to complete the equation. For lead 1, this is 0 degrees. For lead 2, this is 60 degrees. For lead 3, this is 120 degrees. As lead 2 equals lead 1 plus lead 3, we use this to double check our maths. To create a typical ECG recording, pertinent points from one of the leads are plotted on a graph. This is just one application of vectors in engineering. This has been a Swinburne production.